It's getting ugly right now. No, we're going to see it all come unraveled. There's a lot of hatred, and I think that's what make those, makes the playoffs fun. The most crazy game professional I've ever been a part of. I haven't seen anything like that in eight years either. It was shades of Red Wings avalanche from back in the day. Game three between the Griffins and Chicago Wolves got a little heated. The Griffins won the game, but they've lost two players to suspension. Larry Fergurski joins us live from Van Adel Arena now. Larry, you were between the benches, so you had the best seat in the house. How heated did that game get from your point of view? Jack, as much and maybe more than any other game I've covered at Van Andel Arena. And like you, I've been here for all 23 seasons. 144 minutes in penalties, a number of rather ugly scraps and incidents on the ice. And as you said, no Chicago players suspended, but two Griffins were, and really not the one most of us expected to be. Dylan McElrath, all big Dylan at 6'5", 235 pounds, set the tone early last night with this thundering check on Tyler Wong in the opening period. Wong knocked out on the play and lay motionless on the ice for nearly five minutes before he was taken off on a stretcher. Very happy to report that he's going to be absolutely fine. McElrath received a five-minute major for a hit to the head and a match penalty, which implies the intent to injure. Dylan, however, was not suspended today and will play tonight. Two other Griffins, however, were suspended. Forward Dom Turgeon, arguably the team's best defensive player, suspended for two games for a boarding hit here on Gage Quinney. No penalty on the play, but Quinney was clearly woozy and appeared out on his feet. He left and did not return. And Griffins forward Giovanni Smith, suspended for one game for a hit to the head early in the third. Smith will miss tonight's game as well. There might be some carryover, but I think both teams know that it's an important game for us. Uh, it's about trying to, to close them out for them. It's about trying to push it to five, and hopefully we can close them out tonight. Obviously, it got pretty heated there, but you know, I don't expect that to be what it's like tonight. At the end of the day, there's a lot riding on this. Uh, we want to win, and they want to win, and um, they have to win. So um, I think it's going to be uh, be more uh, of an intense game, but nothing uh, out of hand. But we need to be able to come out here and uh, play with uh, a lot of swagger. We feel like we should have some swagger after the last few games we've played against them, and we got to make sure that we, we close this out. If they don't, they got to go back to Chicago Sunday. Jack, can't believe with all that's on the line here tonight, a lot of this carries over, but we shall see highlights, of course, tonight at 10 and 11. Live at Van Andel Arena, Larry Figurski, 24-hour news. All right, Larry, for our viewers who haven't been on social media, I have to show you this tweet from the Chicago Wolves who ripped the Griffins players for headhunting, ripped the ice crew for the conditions last night, and ripped the league for putting a Grand Rapids area ref on the crew. You've been around this team. You know the insiders. You work for the Griffins. How was this received? Uh, it's been talked about pretty heavily. I think they're very disappointed. I put it out on social media to share it today, too. Jack said maybe the social media teams are going to drop the gloves. Immediately got a response for former Griffin tough guy Matt Ruckty, who said, I've always wanted to work in social media. So told them we could get him a 10-day contract pretty quickly. I think they'll give him a one-night contract and be pretty happy about that. Thank you very much, so. Larry. Should be a, a great and interesting game. Game four tonight at Van Andel Arena. Got all the drama. Yes, it does. All right.